What's up everyone? Tyler Brown with Future DDS. Terrell Friday here with Future DDS. And today we're gonna to talk to you all about a question that we get asked all the time. What is the best major and classes for pre -dents? All right, so for those of you who don't know, we have this channel set up so that we can kind of show you guys our journey through dental school as well as help pre dents get into dental school. So let's go, we'll help you out. What is the best major if you're trying to get into dental school? I mean, when we tell everybody, and I didn't believe in myself when, when I heard it, but it really doesn't matter. What did you say? Your major does not matter. Nope. What we mean by this is, as long as you complete the science prerequisites for the school that you're trying to attend, you can major in anything. You can be anything that you want to be. For example, I was a healthcare management major. And I was a psych major. So you can really be a business major, a dance major, agricultural science major, poli-sci major, business major, econ, it really doesn't matter. It really does not. As long as you're getting good grades in your major classes, as well as excelling in your prerequisite courses, you can really be any major that you want to. Just take care of business. I've actually been told by people who are on admissions committees that if you don't have a typical science a major such as biology or chemistry, it actually looks kind of good. The fact that you could go and you could be a math major excel in those classes as well as, of course, completing your prerequisites and excelling in those. It actually shows that, you know, you're, you're a diverse applicant and admissions love that. Yeah, so when they see this type of major on an application, you know, especially in, and you go for your interview and you're a very well-rounded person and you're able to see dentistry from another scope, it's kind of like they, I guess they feel like they hit a gold mine, you know what I mean? Like in Pursuit of Happiness, when he's like, at the end, when he's like cla clapping crazy. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like when you leave the interview, they're just on some vibe. We got one, we got one. <laughs> we got one, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. so we keep speaking on completing your prerequisites, but what are the actual prerequisites? So according to the ADA, in order to apply to dental school, you need at least to have eight hours of biology with the lab, and this means about two semesters, um, eight hours of general chemistry with the lab, eight hours of organic chemistry with the lab, eight hours of physics, and eight hours of English. Now, depending on the school, these prereqs, they might change, and I mean, of course they will because a lot of different schools will throw biochemistry in there, or even throw anatomy in there, whatever it may be, but this is kind of like the standard must before you even think about taking anything else. You need to knock out these science classes. Schools actually might also say that uh, they have a list of recommended classes, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. All right, so there's a few ways you can go about knocking out your prereqs. You can, uh, if you're really ahead of the game, maybe you come in freshman year, you can kind of kind of adjust your schedule to plan it so that your electives are going to take out your prerequisites. But if not, say for instance, you get through dental school, or I mean, if you get through an undergrad and you did choose a different major, you have a few options. You can either stay at your undergrad institution for maybe another year or two and get those classes under your belt, which is going to cost money. Or you can go do a master's or a post back program and get another degree, which is which I think is advantageous, but you know, you can do that, which is also gonna cost money. So at the end of the day, you're gonna be you probably have to drop a little bit of money if you know if you're a little late to the game. But if you're able to hit it, you know, hit it beforehand and you're able to get those classes in and work those classes in with your schedule, then maybe you you might be able to knock it all out before and still graduate on time, you know, and be prepared for the DAT and get in the school uh, on schedule. So all in all, if you choose a major that's not science related, it's gonna cost you money. Yep. So be careful about like trying to take the discount route and maybe going to a community college or a local college to get your credits because some schools may not accept those credits. So, you know, definitely do research, hit up that admissions department, make sure that the classes that you plan on taking are going to qualify for the prerequisites that they require for you to get into the school. But if not, it's just going to be more money, more time, and you know, just another missed opportunity possibly. So just, just cover your bases beforehand. And actually like a little quick story, one of our friends who is actually applying to our school right now, um, you know, she got to the interview and everything and they told her that she had to wait because she had a prerequisite that was from a community college. Mm -hmm. And I think she automatically just assumed that she was gonna be okay, but now she has to go back and actually do that same class over the summer and of course perform well, but at a four year university. So you always wanna make sure of these little things beforehand because you never wanna get, you never wanna see green and then you know, you're racing through the fields mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you get hit with that brick wall because ah, you gotta complete another class before you matriculate into the program. 
So we don't want you to think that we're we're pro a traditional major, whatever it may be. Like, no, being a science major has a huge advantage. For example, I feel like science is kind of its own language, you know, like a lot of the information that we do learn is kind of overlapping, not really, but at the same time, learning that terminology and everything really helps in all your different classes. So if you've taken science classes throughout your entire four years, then when it comes time for the DAT, you, it's a little bit easier for you to study it because you've seen all of these things before, as well as, I'm sure you will be retaking some of the classes that you took in undergrad in your actual uh, dental school program. Definitely. So that's another huge advantage and um, you'll be able to see the, the difference between certain people who took, say, uh, who had an arts major versus those who had a biochemistry major or a bio major or whatever it may be. Definitely. So like we said earlier, a lot of schools offer or have a list of recommended courses that you should take. All right, like these courses aren't necessarily required. They're not necessities for you to get into school or to do well in school. But I'm telling you right now, if you take these classes now, the transition into school is gonna be so much easier. You know, for instance, like biochem, for, for instance, like if you take biochem in undergrad, a big part of the DAT is biochem. So you're gonna get a leg up on the bio section of, of that, as well as get a leg up on the course that you know you're gonna see again in dental school. Your first year in dental school, you're definitely gonna see biochem. Every dental school you're gonna see it in. So, you know, you can get this leg up by just, you know, taking care of business in undergrad or beforehand. And if there was one class I recommend to everybody, everybody who wants to come to dental school, take anatomy. Oh yeah, definitely. Take anatomy. That is the, the heaviest course of your first year in dental school. Mm -hmm. And it will help you tremendously. Like you can literally see in the lab, you can tell the people who have taken anatomy yeah. before and those who haven't. How can you tell? Because the people who have taken it before are coaching everybody else yeah. who has it. The language. Is it, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. You know, you definitely want to go ahead and get a head start on that because that can make or break your grade. I mean, at yeah. least at our school, uh, anatomy was like four credits, whereas yeah. all our other classes were two. So, you know, people are, are prioritizing anatomy as they should, but at the same time, anatomy in itself is extremely difficult. So you're studying, 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 you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully you make an A, but let's say you make a B. Okay, dang, you really worked hard for that B, but while you're working hard for that B, you got all other yeah, yeah. <laughs> all your other classes, all other all the other six or seven of your classes, you know, you, you like neglected slipping. those, yeah. and they're just slipping. And these aren't easy subjects. You're still taking the biochemistries. Yeah. You're taking human pathology, whatever. Mind you, still have to spend another four hours in operative lab just to get your hand skills right. You know, so it's like it, it, competencies, it, wax skills. You know, it's just like so much. It's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. So just make sure if you all take any advice from me as far as this class, for as far as these classes go, me and Terrell both. Yeah. Anatomy. 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 Yeah, Anatomy. <laughs> Anatomy. Anatomy. Add to that. <laughs> if you have never seen a cadaver, go and get Rowan's. Rowan's is oh, like a, a dissection book that has pictures of the dissected body and everything. And yeah. that literally helps tremendously as well. You know, our master's program, we did take anatomy, but we had uh, plastic, plastic models. models. Yeah. And so, you know, I came to school all you know, confident, like, oh, yeah, 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 we got this. We and got Mississippi this. College? Oh, man, they in there. Yeah, Mississippi College actually had cadavers. Cadaver so the, lab, the yeah. students who came from Mississippi College, cutting up everything, knew exactly what to do. Whereas we were just like, whoa. I mean, like, we knew, but. We knew just, the names. It's completely, yeah, you know the name, you're familiar. Different. But, like, finding it. You know, on a cadaver versus, or seeing it on a cadaver versus, uh, you know, a plastic model where they have it lined up perfectly, color coded, everything. It's like, it's, it's completely different. different. It's different. It's so, so much different. Go, go to Amazon, go ahead, get, get Rowan's for like $20. Third edition, get an old edition. Like, Just flip through it. For real. Flip through it, get to learn those names, and um, you'll thank us later. The last class that we want to recommend to you all is a class on how to study. Now, a lot of people will come from undergrad and they'll be like, oh, I made a 4.0, I made a 4.2, I know how to study. What are you talking about, Tyler 12? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but literally, I want you to think about the hardest classes that you took in undergrad, right? And then think about all the hours that you spent studying for that class. You know, you didn't have a social life. You, you went from seven to two in the morning, just working every night, exhausting yourself. But times that by four, I'll say four years. At least. At least four. I so, mean, that might just be for that class. Then you have class on class on class on class. So, <laughs> no, realistically, though, you need to really learn how to optimize your study. Because once you do that, or if you don't do that, you you you're might drown. Trouble. Yeah, you're going to be in trouble. And we don't want anybody watching our channel to drown. We want you all to succeed. 
Um, and you know, unfortunately, we're learning from other people's mistakes. So, you know, we've definitely seen some of our fellow classmates learn the hard way, whereas like, they just didn't optimize their study time. And I mean, it's definitely happened to the both of us as well. And I mean, honestly, I'm sure everybody watching this channel knows, it's, it's a lot harder going like this through the semester versus going you know, coasting, coasting. slowly down. <laughs> Starting at the top, for real. Your mindset will just be, you know, a lot healthier. You know, you'll enjoy your experience a lot more. So just make sure that when you are studying, you're, you're putting in quality study hours. And a certain class, you know, you can hop on uh, Udemy. You can hop on YouTube. You can hop on Skillshare. Um, there's all these different platforms that have people who literally study how to study. Um, and they'll teach this, these courses and then, you know, you can uh, get the information from them and just make sure you optimize your study time. All right, y'all, so that's gonna wrap it up for our video today. If you have any more questions, you know, about different majors to choose, different classes that you think you should take or questions about classes to take, comment below if you think it'll help everyone. Or you can also go over to Instagram, DM us at underscore future DDS. So that's gonna be it. All right, now, thanks, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. All right, y'all.